So before work, I decided to come out here since we have a little bit of sun for the first time in literally about two weeks. And this Jacker unit is charging it 98 watts of solar. And if you unplug it, which little did I know, you have to use this adapter that it comes with the Zoop W panel there because this does fit, but it doesn't accept any solar. But if you plug it in just like this to this Asper X AXP 200, it comes to life and starts accepting up to 99 watts of solar. And there you go, 99 watts. And what I prefer about this unit is the fact that it tells you here that it's gonna take about one hour at this current rate to fully charge the battery and 58 minutes, so two hours. Oh, that's the first time I've seen 100, nice. And the most beautiful thing about this unit compared to this unit is it's got the DC5521. Now I purchased a DC5521 to DC fridge cable. Nice little perfect cable that goes from here to any DC powered fridge, including my Anchor Solix Everfrost. And it can output about 110 watts to my Anchor Solix, keeping the Anchor Solix battery charged while powering the unit with this thing while you're getting 100 watts of solar with the sun using solar. This doesn't have that option. You've only got the DC input, that's it. No DC 5521 output or anything like that at all. So this unit so far is a no compromise unit and I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying it. It's fantastic. Let me start this out by apologizing. I've been running my butt off because I'm gonna be late for work, but I'll leave soon. And I, instead of just talking, I wanted to show. So I brought it all back out here, connected this up. This is getting 100 watts of solar right now. And we have our DC powered fridge. Now this does have a battery inside it right there. So this will be charging the battery in here, but you could also pretend that we're using like an ice co fridge that doesn't have a battery or any other DC powered fridge that doesn't have a battery. We have the 12 volt plugged in and using this simple cable right here that is DC 5521 plug it in and would you look at that instead of just talking I figured I could show now the unfortunate thing is since the battery in here is at 50% it's a 280 watt hour battery. It is having to charge the battery that's in there. So we are technically putting in less than we're putting out. So we are gonna eventually die. If we disconnect the battery that's in here, say it's fully charged, you could say it's fully charged and this is a test of that. So now we're getting all of our power from this guy. And once the compressor kicks on, all right, I just felt it vibrate and yep, we are currently drawing power. See, we don't require that much power to run the actual unit. So we are still going to charge this with 101 watts of solar. Yes, I know it's time to leave, sorry. We're still charging this with 100 watts of solar, but and we're only outputting about 30 to say 50. So this battery will fully charge. The only reason we saw 110 is because this battery is at 50% charge. So it's going to also charge the battery in here with this. But the battery in here will eventually get to 100% and it will drop back down to, you know, anywhere from zero watts when the compressor is not needed to be on to 30 to 50 watts. So while the sun's out, we'll always be putting in more than we're taking out once the battery in here is fully charged. All right, I gotta go put this all back down, go to work. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys because this is just super exciting. And this is the advantage of having a DC5521 output and a DC input. And we can still plug up like, you know, a USB powered device such as your laptop or your gaming handheld or whatever you need. You've still got an extra 100 watts of output to play with. But yeah, I mean, you're definitely gonna still drain the battery but the good thing is as long as you're producing solar it's going to take longer to drain the battery even though it's inputting less than it's outputting it's going to 
take substantially longer than if you just didn't have any input at all. So that's a huge advantage of having the input. See, 10 minutes till it's dead.